Good morning, pals. It's so windy today. I am so glad I put my hair up because I would be looking very disheveled right now if I hadn't. I am on my way to my second makeup trial this morning. First one we were just testing for like longevity to see if I in fact liked the look that we went for and I did. Oh, by the way, she's on her second match of the day. Stunning. I love the look that we did, but now that I've decided on my dress, I just want to tone it down slightly. I'm probably going to have to have my sunglasses on when I talk to you for the rest of the day to, you know, keep you all in suspense because I'm sure you're riveted by my wedding makeup. And I've also told Ryan that I just have meetings today. I didn't tell him what I was doing because he'll refuse to look at me for the rest of the day if I tell him that I'm having a wedding makeup trial. Last time I did it, I did it when I was staying in London so he couldn't see. He refuses. I've had to block him on Instagram. He refuses to look at anything of me in a white dress. Adorable, but uh, it did mean I had to lie. I'm lying to my fiance. I should probably figure out where the hell I'm going. So I will be back with you once I am in situ. So I actually feel like a Charlotte Tilbury model. All you I are, need is a big like you are, you are. All I need is a big like bouncy blow dry instead of my yeah. Whatever we've got no, going no, on right I now. I feel like this is cute. We would do this hair. Do you know your pillows for you, girly? Your hair or not? Hello. You got the sniffles. Hello. 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 What a day. What a day. What a day. Those meetings. Oh, what a day. Yeah, really good. You've got a gift. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. I think you've got more than me. Okay. Hello, yeah, I know. Very nice. I thought you meant chocolate. Oh no, I got that too. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. Really treating you today. I remembered, thank God, at the last dying second when I was waiting for my matchup. Ryan really likes the Blank Street coffee, which is Ironic, it's the most expensive coffee on God's good green earth, but... Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. You accidentally bought that 18 pound bag of yeah. beans and we will never be making that mistake oh, ever God. again. No. Oh my God, you guys, I've been carrying so many secrets around in this bag. I, I can't even tell you. There was actually two bags. I had to put it into one bag for the fact that I was walking to the station. I had to sign an NDA for what's in this bag. I had to sign an NDA. Remember. Uh, well, you, I can tell them I had to sign an NDA. Oh, okay. That's fun. I was scared that I was going to get robbed. And I was like, that's definitely a breach of my NDA. What if someone steals my Charlotte Tilbury? I feel like they'd be more likely to steal the phone out of my hands. As my manager, my poor Rosie discovered this morning when she was mugged. She got mugged, did I tell you? Yeah. Some guy like in East London just like, came up to her, like shoved her. She was like, what are you doing? And... Then she realised he'd taken her phone. Be careful about that, kids. That's very scary. Luckily, she had two phones, because I don't know what she would have done. Not me with the most juvenile phone case and phone charm in all the land. <laughs> this makeup feels so intense for the fact that I'm wearing such a casual or weird outfit. Ryan greeted me with Hello Big Bird. Um, I couldn't vlog my lunch because it was in Soho House. I need to stop booking lunches there because I can't show you anything, but I had some salmon. And now, this one is, uh, what is going on with the lighting in here? This camera's got to go. Pesto pasta, on the way. With some tofu, interesting. Mm, my face is so glowy, I need powder. Powder, so bad. I will show you what's in the bag, but I need to take all of the, all of the things out first. I'm not allowed to show you. But I'm very excited, because I just love, I love anything Charlotte Tilbury. I also got a really cute gift set from Joe Malone. Look at this. How stunning. I'm sweating. Please bear with me. I actually need to take the big bird jacket off. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's giving, it's giving Cartier. Yeah, very nice meeting with the Dream Lady. We need to open some windows in here. It's getting steamy. Okay, we have got pesto pasta with a side of olives, always. Oh my God, garlic stuffed olives. Mm. And gin, because I am a spoiled girl. Good morning. I am in Paris. 
Again, I am back for a second round of speaking at Google to the L'Oreal groups. They love me so much. They actually asked me to come back. A rare occurrence. No, I'm just kidding. It was very fun. So I'm happy to be back this time rather than stay overnight in London and come to Paris really early. We decided to stay overnight in Paris. And I can confirm that that was a stunning idea. As you can probably hear by my voice, it was a late night. It was great. So we got in at 8 p.m. last night. That was actually literally when we were getting off the train. Didn't check into the hotel until like nine o'clock. And we had dinner at Gigi's at 10, which is a restaurant that I, a rare occurrence of a restaurant that has a view of the Eiffel Tower that I've actually never been to. I've been to a lot of these restaurants with brands and that is the one that I haven't been to. And I can confirm it is by far by far my favorite. If you want to go, you need to like book well in advance. We did not. This was all very last minute. So we literally booked like a day ago. The only reservation they had was 10, but that worked perfectly for us because that was also like the late train option was also the only option. So we managed to get a reservation there nice and easily. It was actually such a vibe going later. The music was good. Like I, every song, they played, they had like live music, like singers and guitar players like bopping around for the earlier part of the evening. And then towards the end, they just had like music playing, but it was all like songs that I just love. Like if you listen to my Jalapeno Girl summer playlist, it's like that, but with a mix of like pop and pop like fun remixes i i was obviously in my element it is my my kind of restaurant and on top of that it's just stunning and the food is so good it's just nice italian food i had the tuna tartare i had the burrata no i had the tuna tartare i had the pomodoro oh my god i've got the runniest nose today i have woken up feeling a bit like i might get sick like i just feel a bit not right but i also can't tell if it's just the margaritas but rest assured i am going to be going home and spending the entire long weekend in bed because it's good friday by the way they don't have that over here they're like you no we're, we're working today get your bum over here so anyway this morning before the talk we actually have some free time which is so nice so rosie my manager and i are going to do a little hot girl walk. I have actually planned out the Emily in Paris tour, which if we have time to do, I definitely want to be doing. I found loads of the locations and planned out a hot girl walk route, but it's been raining, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it fully, which is a bit sad, but I think we're gonna try and get out and do a little walk. Either way, come back here, check out, do some work in the lobby, and then head to Google again. Who knows, maybe I'll even get my little, whoa, whoops. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll even get in my little Sephora trip this time around. Okay, I am maybe gonna look a bit like a clown today. Do just bear with me. Maybe if we just add some more foundation. Yeah, we're gonna underpaint. If in doubt, underpaint. And all is right with the world, great. I need to pick up the pace because otherwise this hot girl walk is not happening. I knew when I set out the camera that this could be a bad idea. I'll see you guys in a minute. The Emily in Paris tour has started. I feel like the people that work in the gallery that's below the Savoir offices were definitely looking at me taking photos of the building like, for God's sake, I'm not one of these again. But yeah, we're now at the little gardens which is really cute i'm gonna put the whole like walking itinerary in the info box i will do it complete with like our coffee stop of choice as well oh it's so cute oh it's got no water oh the fountain's got no water in it <laughs> sad it's, it's not it's looking a bit dead you guys i won't show you that i won't ruin the magic we'll end up depressed it's fine we've got the other garden that we're also going to oh my god it's so pretty here rosie this one's yours thank you Let's go. Thanks, Beth. Okay, on to the next stop. This is Rosie's favourite that she's been looking forward to. So, as you can see here, we have Jardin de Tuileries. <laughs> it's like um, a place that in the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> if, if the place in the sun needs a new post, I'm your girl. Jardin des Tuileries. AKA, 
Sydney, the place with the green chairs. Yeah. Nice there they are. Rosie keeps going. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Stop number three or four, Cafe de Flore. I keep walking past all of these landmarks in Paris and telling Rosie every episode that <laughs> they feature in, in Emily in Paris and what happens. And I've just realized I should retire and become a Emily in Paris tour guide. This is my new career. That's like your perfect job, hot girl walk. Hot girl walking? Emily yes. In Paris. Hot girl walking in Emily. Do you want a photo here? Before we go. No, you. <laughs> no, it's a bit crowded. I don't want to bug people. If you can't remember which episode, oh my god, these grates on the street are freaking me out. So for those of you that can't remember, the Cafe de Flore uh, feature was in the episode where she meets the like philosophy guy and he's a dick and he's just really snobby and they end up sleeping together and then she ditches him at the ballet and it's the whole Pierre Cadeau episode where he's like, oh god, that one. <laughs> There you go. Enjoy. Rosie just asked me what this is. This is the pan Pantheon? Pantheon. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, exactly. This is the building that Emily broke up with her boyfriend on the phone in front of. I remember that now. In like, what is that, episode one or two? I think very early on. Right at the start. Yeah. Oh my god. That's the building. That's the building. Ah! Oh my god, that was so fun. We're in an Uber now. We've got a whole 20 minutes before we need to check out of the hotel. So we will not be hot girl walking back to the hotel because it's quite a long walk from the Hoxton. But yeah, need to get my brain out of Emily in Paris world and into like Google, YouTube world. Oh my goodness. Yeah, back at Google. That bakery behind me does the best cookies. Just FYI, you have to go there and get the cookie if you're in this area in Paris. I'll put a rougher area. Time to talk about YouTube. It's the high level of engagement. Yeah, we just got So on my side, you are a lot of things. An award-winning content creator, a vlogger, a TikToker, a podcast podcast host, and I was wondering if your podcasts are on YouTube. Maybe not. Oh yeah, but we can talk about that. And a Chihuahua mum. Coming from the UK. Very passionately on that last one. <laughs> I think you have a very special approach because it's very honest and you choose to work with only brands that you truly love and that you truly use. I started my channel in 2011. If there's a need for that for me, maybe I can do that for others. So I started making YouTube videos. It was literally in my bedroom at my parents' house. They were like, what on earth is my daughter doing? She's uploading videos to the internet. This is a bit strange. Yeah, there's a mix of age ranges. So everything mm -hmm. from like teenagers to women in their 60s, 70s. But for a long period of time, it's been like girls roughly around my age. And recently it's actually interestingly started coming back down. So it's now sitting again around the tw age 25 to 35. Like it's interesting, just so much. And we're done. I actually wasn't that anxious that time. I got a microphone. Love having a microphone. I'm going to request a microphone on every single panel that I ever do from now on. Home to Ryan, my shrimp, and a lasagna. Mm. Mm. Good morning, friends. It's actually not morning. It's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I just like to say good morning because it makes me feel less awkward and like I have something to say. I'm back from the land of cheese and bread. It was a lovely little trip. It went by very fast, but I feel like I really cracked the public speaking this time around. Like having a microphone makes so much difference. Obviously I'm very used to sitting with my own microphone. So I feel, <laughs> I don't know if it's the prop, but it was just kind of funny that I feel like I might have said in the last vlog, I really would love to have a microphone. And actually, I don't know if they got the microphones out just for me this time, because I know they watched the vlog. Like the guys from YouTube actually watched the vlog and they were like, we actually didn't realize that you are terrified of public speaking. And lo and behold, they had microphones this time. So whether that was an intentional decision or it wasn't, if it was intentional, bless them bless you but if not a wonderful coincidence because it actually did make me feel a lot better like i just love it like i, I do my awkward hello at the beginning when they hand me the microphone it always gets a little laugh so straight away straight away people think i'm funny i'm not but it just <laughs> it just helps me anyway the emily in paris walk that we did fantastic it was so fun i loved coming home and showing ryan all of the locations it was really cute but anyway i have had a weekend of like half chilling half bank holiday 
vibes really trying to balance the socialization with the actually like resting i have done no resting and today we are packing because we go to marbella tomorrow so <laughs> can i just say you know you always say to me your hands are so shaky she's given up coffee and now she doesn't have crazy shaky hands anymore i mean i'm never gonna have still hands but this is a lot better so this is benefiting me in a lot of ways i don't have crazy anxiety I mean, it's just a moderate amount of anxiety. The matcha life is going well. Like I now am in one of these girlies, but it actually really is making a difference. And I can have like multiple drinks a day, which I really like, and it's kind of cute. Weirdly, I actually feel like I talk more erratically though when I drink this stuff than when I drink coffee. When I drink coffee, it almost overstimulates me so much that I have mind blanks and I can't say anything, but this is like, there we go, mind blank. I don't know, it's just, I have so much to say through not having a caffeine high. That's bizarre. Hmm. Anyway, if you're thinking about making the switch from caffeine to matcha, I actually would highly recommend it. I put it off for so long, so, so long for so many dumb reasons. <laughs> like I didn't just want to coffee my friends. <laughs> so stupid <laughs> because actually it's like doing better things for my body. And I put it off for so long <laughs> and kept caffeinating my body when it did not want to be caffeinated <laughs> for such a dumb reason. But anyway, also just feel like happier but is that the, is that the matcha is that i don't know but anyway i thought i'd quickly show you just a couple of things from this because there's a lot of like restocks you know like magic cream we've been there we know it we love it magic serum i'm very excited for the restocks but there are a few new things from charlotte tilbury that i wanted to highlight they, they are smashing the launches this year like nothing i've ever seen before first up pillow talk fair pillow talk fair this is probably what I feel like I've been waiting for my whole life. This I actually got to try back in November. So I was actually wearing this when I did my wedding dress try-ons at Pronovius. This was what was on my lips. I was not allowed to tell anyone. They actually didn't NDA me. So lucky I can keep secrets. The best, best nude they've ever done. It's so, so nice. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. So that is new. They also have the big lip plump gasm which is also there's pillow talk fair medium and i think is there pillow talk fair or i can't remember oh there's pillow talk medium deep and pillow talk fair medium so these are like plumping glosses oh. that smells so nice wow oh it's tingly that's gorgeous i love the color stunning oh it's on the inside of my lip a little bit mm. I do not want to be eating tingly gloss. <laughs> no, thank you. So those are two of the new launches, which I'm just so over the moon about. And then there is also Beautiful Skin Island Glow Easy Tanning Drops. And apparently these do not make your hands go orange. Ree, who's doing my makeup, actually said she forgot to wash her hands after she applied this on someone once and it actually didn't make her hands orange. So... I am very excited to try these. So it says apply two to 12 drops under or over your moisturizer, wash hands after use, but apparently it's not the end of the world if you don't. Don't quote us on that though, cause that, that could have been a fluke. Avoid eye and lip area. I'm so excited to try this. Ooh. I will report back, but those are three unreal new launches from charlotte tilbury also really excited because after mascara gate of me having completely run out of mascaras i got another charlotte tilbury mascara and the push-up lashes mascaras are so good and i annoyingly only have one in purple and it looks so weird on me it's just not right for my eyeballs i think because my features are so dark it doesn't like if you were blonde it would probably look cool but for me it doesn't really stand out it just makes them a mid brownie burgundy my eyelashes are then lighter than my eye color it does not look right but black we love so very excited if anyone wonders in the next vlog when i'm away what i'm going to be having on my lashes is going to be this i actually just want to take most of the contents of this bag to my bear with me i can't wait for sun you guys it's going to be unreal and then i also wanted to unbox this from joe malone because i really want to smell it but also i really don't want to open this because it's so beautiful anyway needs must Oh wow, those are so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Emerald Time Cologne. Mm. Oh, that's so nice, wow. It's like floral, but citrusy, really gorgeous. 
and then Passiflora cologne. Oh, this is so cute and small. It's stunning. It's like coconutty. Oh, and it's like a little bit floral, but it's got this like lovely kind of coconut top note to it. Like really creamy. That's so nice and so small. <laughs> this is like, this is so heavy. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. Wow. I'm kind of tempted to take this away with me because it's so small that it will just be really good for packing. Do you know what? I think that's the hardest part about packing for me is the fragrances. Like I took two fragrances to Paris and I was staying for one night. Okay. I have a lot of Tilbury going here and some things I have multiple of. So next vlog, maybe the Marbella vlog maybe uh, keep an eye on the vlogs because i am going to package some bits up and do some little secret giveaways secret. Don't do you don't tell the people on instagram i mean you can tell the people on instagram if you want but i like to keep it a secret between us because i love you guys for tuning in every week even when i'm having a breakdown <laughs> and i need to take a break you all come back and i love that thank you anyway i need to get packing so we are going to whack some stuff in my suitcase we also need to take up some trousers i've got two sets of trousers to take up so we've got a lot to get on with this evening okay it is a medium suitcase occasion I'm not going away for that long but i have a lot of things to do whilst i am in marbella so the tripod will be coming with me the makeup the outfits the shoes <laughs> tell me you've been listening to cowboy carter on repeat without telling me You know when you haven't been on a warm holiday in ages and you just think, what do you wear to the airport? Like, I have completely forgotten. What am I meant to be wearing? Because it's cold here. Take that off my hand luggage. Hair things. Contacts. Moisturiser. Setting spray. Eyeshadow. Whole makeup bag. Hairbrush. Mm. Mm. Cute pink bag. Sunny. I'm gonna need something to put my hair things in. <laughs> Why does this always happen with strainers? Okay. Amazing. We're basically there. We've just got a nice big hole for all my skincare. When you see me looking cute in my bed, just know <laughs> that I have to look like this first. I'm in full rock mode. My hair has been washed. I've masked. I have done an all over, I've done an everything shower, all over shave. We have turned. We have an empty Saint Tropez tanning, what's this called? Self tan express bronzing mousse. We're on the next one. I'm about to paint my toenails. I say this, do I do this when I'm there? I just hate having polish on my toes for too long, but I'm going to paint my toenails at some point. Bleached my mustache, she's thriving. Ignore me, looking like an actual thumb. I've just taken my trousers up and those trousers up. I think I did an okay job on these ones. The other one's still a bit long, but we'll live. This is a spoiler for what's to come in the next video because I'm gonna do a full haul when I get there of everything that I've got with me so you will see everything and there'll be links for everything in my Marbella vlog which I don't know if that will go live before this at this rate we're having some scheduling juggling because this here vlog is not long enough yet so yeah this is me over and out for Marbella packing because I need to go and blow dry my hair this is what my natural hair now does hmm <laughs> so yeah Good night. Good morning. We are experiencing some troubling times right now. Three, four, five, six. What is my finger doing? <laughs> we are echinacea dropping it up over here because I woke up this morning and I was like, I do not feel good. I every so often you like you know sometimes you wake up and you like don't feel amazing and you can tell you've been like like fighting something off in your sleep. I woke up this morning and I was like. Is it just feeling groggy or is it, am I sick? And throughout the morning, I have started to feel progressively worse. And I felt like run down. I've, I've not actually not been sick since I got COVID weirdly, like years, years ago. When was that? Like 2021, 2022, 2022, I think I got COVID. Really late compared to everyone else. I've not been ill since then with a cold of any kind, but today I'm like, oh, 
oh this is what it's like to be ill i forgot what it was actually like so i'm obviously not a doctor don't take anything i say as gospel but whenever i feel poorly i do take these however i may have missed the deadline on it these are echinacea drops by the way my friend lauren recommended them to me when we started working together and i basically like i used to get sick at least quarterly and since she started working for me i have had one cold and i've had covid and that is it basically it's been a long time since i've been acquainted with these and i don't get ill today we are going to be having a wardrobe refresh i got back from marbella nearly a week ago now have i done much in terms of unpacking no and the room of requirement needs some tlc so that is what we're going to be up to today we're going to be having a little spring reset of my closet i'm really excited to tweak the kind of display side of it and make it look a bit more springy so that is what we're doing also i'm a little miss four eyes today because when i have a headache there's no way i'm putting contacts in so she's cute right <laughs> this is what we are working with up here it is a little bit wild <laughs> Uh, also you guys i'm really sad the dresses from my engagement party haul i missed the deadline for sending them back so if anyone wants any of those bridal dresses they will be going on my relight at some point i'm going to get them sent off really soon i will link my relight by the way if you want to go and see it so we've got a lot to unpack and we've also got bits to put away over here i'm also going to sort out all of this and make it look a little bit more springy and fun and just a little bit neater as well because it's kind of gotten a bit messy up there i think i'm gonna put some coats away is that brave that might be being a bit too brave if i'm honest but maybe maybe there are some we could put away and in terms of the coats down here there's probably a few that we can put away as well although i won't be putting all of them away but maybe like the fluffy ones and the teddy ones i feel like this is the time of year when they can go rejig of the accessories i have made it look quite summery compared to springy but in my opinion the uk goes from winter to summer there is no in between i also am starting all of my trips a lot earlier this year than i would normally normally i'd go away during the summer so the summer stuff comes out in the summer but this year the trips have definitely started earlier if you haven't seen i literally just got back from marbella and the next one is literally in a couple of weeks i'm so excited but this is probably one of the trips of the year that i I'm excited for all of them to be fair but this one this one is really exciting and you'll see why but that is literally weeks away so the summery stuff is coming out a little bit earlier so we have a few more like summery shoes than we would normally out at this time of year and the bags are also getting quite summery as well but i'm going to i think pick out some of the wintry bits that i just know i'm not going to wear like the fluffy coats i think we can retire them now i actually didn't wear this one at all this winter but it's the nicest coat. I really should have got more wear out of it. It's so, so snuggly. So this one will go away, but we won't be getting rid of this. This will not be going on relight. This one can definitely go away. I haven't worn that one that much. I gravitate towards this giant puffy coat more than anything. So this one has to stay out. This aloe yoga fluffy coat has the dirtiest neckline on this planet but it's snuggly but it's also light so i do tend to wear it like even on a cold summer's day i'll take the hood off and just like throw this on over if it's like a very cold day so that can stay out this just feels unseasonal i love it and it's not too heavy but it just feels unseasonal so i'm gonna put that one away this just isn't seasonal colors so i'm gonna put that one away the rest of the leather jackets we can start moving those over to here which will be quite fun so we're gonna put these away and then from the other wardrobe i can't tell if i should put this one on relight because i got gifted the suzanne leopard print coat and i i think i like it more so i think i might give that one away i don't know maybe we'll store it and i'll see how i feel in the autumn i have this very old teddy bear coat this is super old from zara i know we're not a big fan of zara anymore but i kind of feel like i'm not buying from there anymore but i'm also just not gonna like throw away the nice quality clothes that i have from there so yeah i love this this is gonna go back into storage then i have my i don't know how you say this is it paroche but it's got dots in between all of the letters big fluffy black coat i love that one so that's gonna go back into storage and then i also have this mango coat i didn't get that much wear out of it but i'm hoping this autumn winter i will it's a nice one for nights out because it's quite glam it's just a plain black coat and then it's got this removable faux fur collar trim but i don't have the longest neck and sometimes i think it looks a bit too bulky on me 
I need like a less bulky neck trim. Like sometimes when I wear it, I feel like I look like someone out of Game of Thrones. So we'll see how I feel about that in the autumn. So those are the coats that are going away. All of my blazers I'm really happy with. All of these, these are all good. Okay, love that. And now we have lots of spare hangers from all of those coats, which is great. So any new in spring summer pieces that I want to add into the wardrobe, we now have hangers for, stunning. Now I'm gonna move some things around. The great thing about moving out the winter coats is we then can make this feel a little bit more like fun and shop-like because it frees up a lot of space in the wardrobe. Okay, this I still have not worn in so long. It's a really cute cardigan, like a button up. I'm gonna put it in storage because I just don't feel like I'm gravitating towards it at all right now. This suit and trousers I'm actually gonna put into my events wardrobe. That does not need to be up here. Yeah. Also going to put this into my events wardrobe because it does not get worn day to day. Now we're gonna swap in and out some cardigans. So like navy is such a winter color, so we're gonna swap this out. And this brown cashmere top can just go in a drawer because I'm gonna to gravitate towards them less. Oh, I forgot, we can free up a drawer. Yes, how amazing, wow. So much space. Okay, baby steps, but it's looking a lot more springy and a lot more organized so i am very happy with this there's a lot more color which is making me feel really inspired for spring outfits and honestly if you think this is too colorful you wait until summer because my entire personality shifts in the summer i've tried to go for more pinks over this side to match the bags that are up the top and then on this side more pops of red to match the bags that are up the top So when I'm sick, I'm a cliche. I am a walking cliche. I am making myself tomato soup. This is actually one of Ryan's recipes. If you want the recipe for it, it's over on the It's Hungry Hurley Instagram. I have tweaked it slightly only because there are a few olives and capers in the mix already. So I'm making a tomato soup and I'm also going to be having a grilled cheese on the side because that is oh, that's my favorite. And I am going to, hello, do you wanna say hi? Come here, say hi. We're not gonna get you to the food, but she's here. Princess has arrived. Queen is here. I am going to eat this, watch a film, FaceTime Alana. That is going to be my evening. I feel so rough. So just gonna chill this evening and I'm really excited to in the face, you know? Might have to do this in two goes, lads. This looks delicious. I know I said it's a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason, because it's stunning. 